how you can make a simple call to the web from your Xcode project, your iPhone app, and not only um, connect to a web, a web page, but then bring back information on that web page. Um, I have this little web page that just um, says hello world on it. Uh, it's right here. Uh, let me just go through with this. So I have this method I created call to the web. I could call that whatever I want. I chose to call it call to the web. Um, you need to create a variable of type NS error. Um, it's pretty typical to just call it error. Uh, you're going to get a string. Uh, I named this thing called get web info. And it's basically getting the web address that we're going to parse. And then this line's not needed. Sorry about that. And then we need to have a NS URL variable. Um, I call this web unformatted because this is going to get the string and convert it to NS URL. So we're getting our string that we have up here. Um, I created a try catch. It's always good to use one of them when you're doing something uh, like connecting to the web because um, you can always run into issues when you do that. And it's good to have a try catch to catch any exceptions that may come your way. Um, so now I have a string called NS Web Formatted, which now uses this formatted NS URL to grab the contents of the URL. So that's what's happening right here. Um, you have some encoding going on so that it could be read and converted to a string. And then we simply um, add it to a label that happens to be on this um, screen uh, for this iPhone project. Uh, here's the catch part that just says, you know, uh, actually it should say something like unable unable to connect to web. You know, you could say something like check your Wi-Fi settings or something like that. Um, all right, so if you run this, we should get back. Um, I will, uh, so just so you see, all it says is, hello, Santa here. And so when we run this, that's what should appear in that label. Oh, you know, I just realized. We're not calling this method. We need to actually call the method. So I'm going to go ahead and make that the last part of this method that's an IB action that I already have on this page. I'm going to say self call to web. Ah. Put anything in here. Just hit submit. There you go. Hello, Santa. I grabbed that from the web. Pretty cool. I'll show you in an upcoming tutorial how you can do something a little more useful. Um, for instance, bring in an array of information that maybe you grabbed from a database online. Thanks. Mm -hmm.